Oscar winner Louis Gossett Jr., known for his turns in an officer and a gentleman in Jaws 3, has died at the age of 87. His daughter confirmed his passing on Thursday night in Santa Monica, California. No cause of death was given, however, he had previously announced in 2010 that he was diagnosed with prostate cancer. Gossett revealed this past year that he gave up a potential professional basketball career with the New York Knicks when he decided to head to Hollywood. He earned his first acting credit in his Brooklyn High School's production of You Can't Take It With You while he was sidelined from the basketball team with an injury. I was hooked, and so was my audience, he wrote in his 2010 memoir An Actor and a Gentleman. Known for his athletic build and dominating presence on stage and screen, he starred in a number of demanding roles including his Oscar-winning turn as Drill Sergeant Emil Foley and Officer and a Gentleman. The hard man image he achieved in that role catapulted him to Hollywood fame, emulating the drill sergeant Patwa and the Punisher and repeat appearances in the Iron Eagle franchise. After his early Broadway success, he broke through on the small screen as Fiddler in the groundbreaking 1977 miniseries Root, which depicted the atrocities of slavery on TV. The sprawling cast included Ben Vereen, LeVar Burton, and John Amos. He won an Emmy for the role, which earned the young actor national fame as a staggering 100 million viewers tuned in for the final episode. Gossett once said of landing the role, all the top African-American actors were asked, and I begged to be in there. I got the best role, I think. It was wonderful. His final on-screen appearance came in the 2023 Oscar-nominated film The Color Purple. Gossett Jr.'s decades-long acting career quickly took off after his first performance in high school, as an English teacher urged him to go into Manhattan to try out for the production of Take a Giant Step. He got the part and debuted on Broadway in 1953, age 16. I knew too little to be nervous, Gossett wrote of his acting break. In retrospect, I should have been scared to death as I walked onto that stage, but I wasn't. Gossett attended New York University on a basketball and drama scholarship. He was soon acting and singing on TV shows hosted by stars including David Suskind, Ed Sullivan, Red Buttons, Merv Griffin, Jack Parr, and Steve Allen. Before he became a firm favorite in Hollywood circles, he was known to be friendly with James Dean and studied acting with Marilyn Monroe, Martin Landau, and Steve McQueen at an offshoot of the actor's studio taught by Frank Silver. In 1959, Gossett received critical acclaim for his role in the Broadway production of A Raisin in the Sun along with Sidney Poitier, Ruby Dee, and Diana Sand. He went on to become a star on Broadway, replacing Billy Daniels in Golden Boy with Sammy Davis Jr. in 1964. Gossett went to Hollywood for the first time in 1961 to make the film version of A Raisin in the Sun. He had bitter memories of that trip, staying in a cockroach-infested motel that was one of the few places to allow black people. In 1968, he returned to Hollywood for a major role in Companions in Nightmare, NBC's first made-for-TV movie that starred Melvin Douglas, Ann Baxter and Patrick O'Neill. 